Well, hey, everybody. I, I heard a pastor talking about temptation. And, you know, for men, a lot of times temptation comes in the form of, you know, adult entertainment, pornography, that kind of thing. And for women, temptation sometimes comes in the form of romance novels, things like that. And one of the most, he, the pastor mentioned uh, a book turned into a movie, Eat, Pray, Love. I thought, Eat, Pray, Love. What What's up with this? I, it's a it was turned, I guess, made really famous by Julia Roberts did this movie uh, called Eat, Pray, Love. But it was based on a book written by a woman, Elizabeth Gilbert, right? So Elizabeth, and this book is is tri attributed with uh, being the book that made women leave their unhappy marriages. Because I get the premise of the book and movie is the woman, she's married to a man who's boring. You know, there's nothing really wrong with him necessarily, but he's just boring and she's tired of him. And so she's getting into, you know, early middle age and she divorces her boring husband. She goes and travels across Europe, eating, drinking, meeting new people, making new friends, blah, blah. And then she meets her Latin lover and they end up getting married in the movie. And then she finds out that he is a secret millionaire once they get married. Oh, what a fantasy, what a wonderful thing. And, and then they live happily ever after. Now, this book that Elizabeth Gilbert wrote is based on her, well, loosely based on her own experiences, divorcing her husband and traveling across Europe and just experiencing these things. And then she meets another man. But did that turn out so well? Here's what I want to talk about. Did that turn out so well? Now, one thing, if you've ever heard of Nancy Lee DeMoss, um, she wrote a book, let me see that book called Lies Women Believe. And one of them that I thought was there, my, my wife has this book and uh, she likes this book. And it, one of them um, is I should not have to live with unfulfilled longings is one of the lies that women believe that she talks about in here. Maybe a lie a man would believe in the area of temptation like this is that, hey, if I look at things that are inappropriate, such as pornography, things like that, that nobody will know, nobody's hurt, it's no big deal, right? That's another lie that we would believe. But in the area of females, temptation is I should not have to live with unfulfilled longing, which comes into the area of romance novels, which would this would be one of the quintessential divorce fantasy romance novels and in this movie eat pray love she gets a uh, a man who is her latin lover let me put up a, a a picture of this guy here in the movie this guy would be her her lover like yeah a good looking guy here right, i'm saying good looking guy but actually uh, the man that she actually married is is this guy uh he he was in real life he was her her Latin lover. So, you know, not quite so awesome as what, what happened in uh, the movie here. We may ask that, well, how did how did this work out, right? Now, this was quite a while ago that this book was written. The movie was done quite a while ago with Julia Roberts, smash it from Julia Roberts. Even the book was a big, I mean, it was like 12 million copies. As it turns out, the real story, not the fantasy story with Julia Roberts, but the real story was Elizabeth married this man because he needed a visa to get into the U.S. Mm -hmm. And that was the real reason why their epic romance, you know, happened and they got married. And, and Elizabeth, uh, at this point, was 41 years old. And Felipe was, was 58 years old. Again, this doesn't quite, it's not quite the same picture that the movie portrayed of of what was happening here. Pastor Dalrock even wrote about this, this whole phenomenon here. And he writes, a decade after Gilbert divorced him, Elizabeth Gilbert, the, the author, he said her original husband is now married to a Canadian diplomat named Beatrice Mele. They have two young boys, Charlie and Sammy. So it looks like her original husband that she divorced, because he was boring and whatever, uh, you know, he went on to marry... Uh, Looks like a fairly attractive woman. They had two young boys. You know, looks like they're doing okay. Now, what about Elizabeth, though? She marries a man almost 
what is he? He's 17 years her senior, who doesn't really it doesn't look like all, you know, he's not all he cracked up to be as far as being Mr. Awesome Casanova. But then they they would get divorced, of course. Uh, wow, shocker. Shocker there. How do I know that? Because here Elizabeth Gilbert is three years ago on a, a talk show about how she fell in love with her female best friend. <laughs> so now she's in a, a same-sex uh, relationship. I don't know, probably not marriage, but relationship. Yeah. Whether well, here she is. And so she's talking about how, you know, oh, she wrote the original book, he prayed love, and oh, women leave their unhappy marriage, blah, 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 blah. I don't think this is a woman you want to follow. I don't think this is a book that you want to follow here. You know, eat, pray, love. I'm not sure who she was praying to in this, but it certainly wasn't Jesus Christ and anything that he has revealed in his work. Divorce your boring husband. Well, meet a new guy. Oh, okay, let's get married so you can get a visa. And, oh, we get divorced, and then uh, uh, here, let me let me engage in same sex relationship with another woman. Wow, this is crazy. This is crazy. You can't even hardly make this stuff up. I mean, what what on earth is going on here? But anyway, all that to say, you know, we gotta we gotta get we gotta get marriage going better here, and that means actual biblical marriages where we stay together, we vow, and we stay together. And even regardless of all that, Christ is winning. He is building his church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Until next time, this is the Post-Millennial Man.